Hi guys, it's Mina again. I'm sorry if I sound bad. I'm actually sick. So, um, today in this video, I'm going to talk about being homeschooled. And, um, some of you probably know this if you watch my chemo video, if I'll have chemotherapy story, which I'll have a link to in the description box down below if you're interested in that video, that I was homeschooled. Some, and most of you probably, who are new to, some of you who are probably new to my channel don't know that. That so I'm gonna talk about my experience with being homeschooled. So basically, this all started out was when I was starting to go through chemo. My parents didn't want me going to school because they were worried about the kids having like colds and stuff, and they and my immune system was really weak at that time. So I couldn't go to school. So I really couldn't go to school, which kind of sucked. It sucked because I wouldn't be able to see because I never got to see all my friends at school. But, so my mom and my stepdad had an idea to start having a tutor come to the house every, every Monday through, um, Friday. Friday, and, um, the tutor was very nice. She was such a nice lady. She, like, helped me quite a lot, and, sorry, I heard, thought I heard something. And she, like, would, um create like cute little assignments for me which was nice like she'd have me like um take notes of stories and reads that I was reading and stuff kind of like the way my mom did it and <clears throat> and um and okay and um she'd like just probably like have like so many subjects for me and then I kind of get overwhelmed sometimes though there's times where she'd let me have a little bit of a break like, and she was kind of a nice tutor but the only problem we were having with her is sometimes she would she kept getting sick so she was bringing in colds and back and um she wouldn't come in half the time because she was sick or either her husband was sick and my parents were starting to get tired of this and they decided like they didn't want the tutor coming anymore because they felt like she was like just bringing in colds for me. Me and my immune system was like very weak at the time. So my mom decided to teach me when I was at home. And basically what she would do, so I so again, thank you mom for doing this for me. Is she actually took my sister out of school so she taught both my sit me and my sister at home at that time when we were going when I was going through chemo chemo because my they had to take my sister out of school because she kept bringing home colds because a lot of the kids were sick and stuff like that that so she kept bringing home colds so my parents had to take her out of school and homeschool her and I felt bad because my sister couldn't see any of her friends so basically what my mom did for me was she'd have me do like one certain subject at a time like First we started off with health, and she made the health like so much fun for me, like she talked about like some of the experiences, like she actually compared pregnancy to chemo, and I realized they were kind of the same thing a little bit, because when you go through chemo you don't like certain foods, and I think, and also when you go through pregnancy you don't like certain foods, I've never been pregnant before, but my mom told me she didn't like like feta cheese when she went, when she was pregnant with me. And, um, I think I know a couple people who also didn't like certain foods when they were, like, um, preg when they were, like, pregnant with their kids and stuff. Stuff. Like, when I was going through chemo, I didn't like my mom's scrambled eggs. I didn't like strawberries. I didn't like hamburgers. So, those were the foods that I didn't like going through chemo. And stuff. So, my mom kind of, like, would, like, explain, like, some of the processes and stuff of, like, um... Of some things and it was a big help and stuff like we would do like basically just one subject at a time so then it wasn't too overwhelming for me and she made it a lot of fun fun and then we do like um, literature and then after literature we'd start on another subject Jack and stuff like when I was a kid she used to have us do workbooks in the summertime time so just so we could like do something so, so I think we'd probably have some like stuff we know about before we go back to school and stuff so yeah I thought it was a good idea that my mom homeschooled me instead of the tutor teaching me even though the tutor was nice the tutor just was like making me fall behind in school so my mom just like taught me at home and stuff so 
she'd like tell me like little things and stuff like yeah she basically just taught me at home home and then she'd also have me read a book and then take notes and stuff like that so and and this was like the only time I was ever homeschooled because when I was going through chemo I couldn't go to school at all at all and she also like tutored me in the summer too I'll Okay, so that was my experience with being homeschooled. Again, it was a good thing for me because, like, my mom was, like, trying to go get a job as a teacher, and she was a really good, and she is a really good teacher. She taught me so much when I was little. Little, like, she taught me how to read and stuff, and she taught me a bunch of, like, math skills and taught me a bunch of good different skills. And, and I really appreciate her teaching me when I went to chemo. So thank you, Mom. Love you so much. And her teaching my sister, too, because my sister couldn't go to school at all either, either because of bringing colds home. So thank you again for teaching the sister, <laughs> too, Mom. I love you so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!